Yeah, 10 4. You know? Listen, it is what it is. They'll all talk, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? And it's a good thing, and that's CB, you know? And I wouldn't expect anybody to show up there either anyway. Well, I mean, you know, if you're going to talk tough and you're going to threaten tough, you should at least tr show up and try to be tough, right? Yeah, well, that's what our neighborhood's about. You know, different upbringings, different, you know, uh, race, color, creed, whatever you want to call it. I mean, no matter how much we're the same, we're different, you know what I'm saying? Better, worse, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, our grandfather, put the bricks in this country called America, and it just seems that everybody that comes from overseas is here taking the bricks out of the building of this America, you know? I mean, it's land of the free because of the brave. It's not home of the brave. We hear all the fucking bitch asses running away from war all over the place. Oh, we're hungry. Oh, we're this. Oh, we're that. Why? Because our grandfathers made this country, and the forefathers before that made it what it is. And there's a lot of old money that these jerk-offs don't even know what to do with. And, uh, yeah, they just take advantage of everybody. Got nothing to do with old money. It's got to do with all the new stolen government money they could sell, man, or they could steal. All right, Frank, look, I'm busy over here. I got to load a lot of video games. I got to load, like, two dozen freaking gates. Uh, NYC Mutts on YouTube. NYC Space Bar Mutts. M-U-T-T-S. Punky Pyerman being the number one mutt out here. I'm on the side. <laughs> He's an idiot. Who's an idiot? No, you're a fucking mutt. You're, you're the number one entertainer, though, so you shouldn't be proud of something that you're just going to be your, you're the number one guy on it. You're the biggest mutt out here. Well, you know, Shadow, at least if you're going to call me things, don't call me what I just call somebody else and say I am. I know you're starving for my attention, why I am for my attention. But you feel to realize, dude, uh, you know, it's no disrespect to you. I think you're a child trapped in a man's body. Locking him up with you is just no fucking fun. All you do is cry like a little bitch, and I mean real tears and crying, you know? I, you know, I got to tend to the microphone gangsters, you know, the guys who imply that they're tough or that they're gangsters out here, you know what I'm saying? That's my function. I like pulling them cars, because in my family, I'm not the number one gangster. I'm the number one gangster killer. <laughs> Hey, Frank. I just want to know. My radio is bigger than yours. Your radio is not as big as mine. My two red lights, they shine black. Uh, yeah. Hey, yo, Frank, please tell this boy I really don't want to uh, talk to him there that I'm not going to entertain him. Maybe you can make him get it through his dickhead. Richie chooses not to modulate with you because you, cause you're not a man. You don't talk adult. You are a little boy trapped in a man's body on some serious narcotics and on federal parole. And, uh, well, you know how that goes with the job. I'm on the side. <laughs> quiet because I shut New York City down. You're like two video games light. But I give you credit for wanting to go chase pussy. We still a step above Punky Pie and all he wants to do is chase my dick and my jizz. I'm on the side, Frank. He's all yours. <laughs> it got quiet, Richie, because nobody gives a fuck about you, Richie. They didn't want to keep on. They didn't even want to insult you. They didn't even want to make you feel low. They didn't even want to do that. They wanted you to go to sleep today. All right, I'll be back there, guys. Oh, I'm on the quiet side. We're back quiet. Richie's, Richie's my Chris tonight. Yeah, you won't. Google that freaking website he tells you about and watch him on the freaking street camera waving to you or something. Yeah, because 
You know, Frank, Frank, I got to give you credit. Frank, I must give you credit for putting that politely. Uh, you know, Frank, that was the nicest way that I ever heard anybody put bipolar. Uh, you can put it on the fence. He stuck between point A and 2B, or uh, point A and point B, or stuck between two lovers feeling like Richie's fool. The king of New York, I'm back quiet. Uh, but, um, yeah, I like it. I like it when I make a 127 good lay down there, man. It, it really works, man. It makes me feel good that uh, I'm crushing such a big radio out here in Brooklyn. Uh, well, you're only riding me and taking me till I raise my antenna. That's what everybody knows. Your antenna raise helped you. What do you think mine's going to do? Except along with mine, I get to pump out another half a K. I'm on the side. Yeah, but Shadow, from where I am and where you are, and where he is and where I am and where you are and where he is, it's no competition, dude. Really. But you know what? That old dude, which I can't even call Moe's all year older than me, but that old dog, yeah, he knows what he's doing with them stock mics. Because no matter how much RF is throwing, even if you can't hear him, you know he's keying up because he he comes from under them. He'll play with his knobs. If higher ain't working, he'll go from under. And as long as somebody knows he's even keying up, because you're you're considered a local. Yeah, he's still he's still my little mud duck though. He just doesn't get it. I'm I'm in I'm in the position to where he doesn't get it though. He doesn't get it how how bad ass my setup is because of where I'm situated. And I don't think you could put an antenna anywhere in New York City and I'll always give somebody trouble no matter where they are, unless they're like out in the Bronx. But anybody in Brooklyn, I'm giving everybody in Brooklyn trouble. I don't, you know how it is. You know, I just, I'm a... Hey, yo, Frankie, let me in. Hey, yo, Frank. I don't think so. I'm 
Well, you know, how are you going to tell the kid he's stepping on me, huh? Is, um, you know, he, he tries to ignore me as much as possible. He does. He really does try. Well, that just proves that you're a liar. I mean, you're trying to earn credibility out here and gain respect. You ain't going to get it the way you're lying and the way I punk you and the way you talk to people out here. You're going to get yours, dude. Inevitably and eventually, it's all going to come to you, dude. And you better hope it's not me. You really better hope it's not me. You better hope I don't get reinstated tomorrow, dog, because shit going to flip around here real quick. Bastard. Did you just hear what you just said? And your boss is in the room. He radios. Shuts him out. You have to like for him on Yourself in his radio. And you're coming in with the big rip. So you know what Richie did? Richie did you a service because he broke my leg out of my chair. And you, a, a, a Richie radio basher, had the audacity to go to YouTube and go on one of his video gates and listen to yourself. So you should be appreciative to that guy. Instead of knocking him, you know what I mean? Because he's not out here to like that He makes money with this shit, you know? And people like you that, that contradict yourselves make it harder for him to make bigger bucks, you know? No, I'm, I've never said that I, I've not ever watched the video games, you know? I've, I'm probably... I want the public to know I'm not responsible for Shadow's radio sound, that distorted, over-modulated, breaking up audio either. Just for the record now, let it be known. Shit, man. And I'm like, damn, this nigga is talking to himself on the air sometimes until he gets, until he gets somebody out there to tell him to shut the fuck up, you know? When somebody finally gets tired of that shit, you know, they be like, just shut the fuck up. And then they start tearing into his little ass, and he loves it, you know? And it's like, he's like, I'm going to keep this up. I don't know, Frank. Are you beating a dead horse, Frank? You beating a dead horse? Be being nice to him. And they, you know, no matter how much you try, you can't be nice to him. Frankie, you're beating a dead horse, dude. You really are beating a dead horse. Dude, I speak nice to Richie Radio. And the rest of my friends, I don't want to have to say their names. You know who they all are. We let the man be who you... We let you be who you want to be on the freaking band. When you get too out of your mind, we let you know. But, you know... Because you know what? He does get his jollies on it. So you're giving him jollies. And the biggest jolly is you admitting that you go to his video gates. So he did you a service. And you should be appreciative and thank the guy. Thank you, Richie127, for having your video gates out there. Thank you. I really appreciate that you got your video gate running and stuff like that. You know. I really appreciate those video gates because I get to watch them sometimes and I get to hear myself on your video gates and um, I get to see how well I do on your video gates. So yeah, 127, I appreciate your video gates 100% because I've watched over probably 30 or 40 of them and uh, I see how you roll and how you act at home through your video gates. You talk to yourself, you lower the volume on your radio, and you make dumbass comments. But that's really, really cool. And you do the craziest shit in your background. You cough like your lungs are collapsing. And you probably smoke too many cigarettes and stuff like that. Which you should stop smoking cigarettes because that dirt around the bottom of your workbench is not healthy for you. So I wouldn't be taking off your shoes on your workbench because then your feet might catch gangrene. And if you have diabetes, be careful because uh, things can get worse really bad. But thank you for your video gates. Frankie, what did you do to me, Frankie? Seven. You're the man when it comes to rolling video gates.
I confess, I confess to her my homosexual relations and my K2 smoking out the pipe with the cut lip. I got the monster from Enforcer. He, you know, he, he, he's, he, he is now my doctor. Richie, you should never say that. Convincing your mother that you are a homosexual, you know? Whatever the conversation you keep on having, I'm going to have with sex with men, right? So that's what happens. It should never be said. <laughs> yeah, Roger right that, uh, Frank. Frank, I'm going to have to call this video gate Shadow's Appreciation Spiel. I'm going to have to call it Shadow's Appreciation Spiel. Now, right now, I want to appreciate, I just got finished eating all that good food I came home with that I showed you in the video case earlier on the app. So, I, I really want to start rolling these L's. I'm going to go on the side. And, yeah, Shadow Master, you're damn right. I make a lot of sense in my video gates. And those comments you say I say off the mic, they must hit really hard for you to remember I do that. The King of New York, and I'm back quiet. See that my video games, I get to do whatever I damn well please in them. I just don't edit them or mix them up. The way they record it is the way they go. There was somebody in church today, and uh, they pre-recorded the Yankee game from yesterday. And uh, there was a Yankee game yesterday. I don't know how that happened. But uh, they text my buddy talking about um, the Yankees are winning nine-something, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he just realized, yo, I think they were watching it on TiVo. Yeah, but the thing, uh, whatever. They didn't play yesterday. The only thing they played was golf with with Boston. And A-Rod was at the freaking World Series getting ready to hold on fucking this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we realized, you know, I was like, dude, what do you mean the Yankees played? You know, the Yankees ain't played in a week. But it was recorded on TV. If you be nice to me and you grow up and start acting like a man out here and don't let homosexuals like a forcer lead you around the airwave, I might be nice and come over there and fix all your RFI problems so you ain't got to run, go, 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 shut your amp off. I'm on the side.
Hey, Frank. Yes? You notice when Punky don't have Shadow, T, Cupcake, or anybody else out here? He runs, runs to somebody out here he can lock it up with? I call that a real pussy Punky pie, I've been for sure. Yeah, well, they all, you know, today they can legitimately wear... Well, Frank, you know, you know what I think it is? It's just that uh, he's really not a challenge, dude. He's a punk, a pussy, and a pliable at heart. Oh,